But just give me your thoughts on this because I, I don't know what to think of this. I didn't so to. let me see the headline first before you try to Go gaslight me. I'm not going to gaslight. LA police officer brutally punches handcuffed man in the face. Yeah. So I've been, I told you, Brent, as well. Real quick, I, what's he arrested for? Exactly. There's no details about that. All right. Let me guess. White cop, black guy? Yes, but there's also yep. a black cop on the scene as well. So okay. just check this out. Now has launched an investigation Big guy. after cell phone video goes viral. It shows a police officer punch a handcuffed man. So you'll see what happens here. His arrest. The incident has now sparked calls for the officer to be criminally charged. Sato <sighs> joins us live in downtown. That's a big. That's a big man. That guy just kind of went, "Hey, man!" It was like a little. So look, look what leads up to it. The guy's huge. I'm not sure what that matters. A cuffed man gets punched in the face by a police officer, which is clearly excessive. <laughs> he just punched him in the face for no reason. Fair enough, the guy took it like a champ, but still, in this particular video, based on the information that we have available to us, we don't know anything else that happened, but based on the information we have available to us, that looks a little bit excessive. In my opinion, that could be seen as a demonstration of that police officer's um, displeasure and disliking of black people possibly right because that kind of force that he's using is a bit excessive and he's only doing that because it's a big black guy maybe that's what my assumption could be let's hear brendan's interpretation of the events that he saw in front of his face a tense situation they said handcuffed too, and he wasn't. I don't think he was actually completely handcuffed. Yeah, I guess, like yeah. I, if that yeah. was my brother or my father, and you did that to him, I'd be like, "Fuck you." Yeah, yeah. depends what he did. <laughs> depends what he did. So, depending on what he did, would justify him being punched in the face while he's cuffed and not resisting. <laughs> he's just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> but he's completely justified to get punched inside of a face because he's just standing there being restrained not posing any type of threat not moving not lunging not being f nothing it depends what he did okay let's continue yeah, yeah exactly no, so not it, it was a traffic stop like apparently it was a traffic stop I don't know. but you're still not allowed to punch a man in the face like that you can't do it and i'm sorry but that look at brendan cause the train sticking his tongue out He's also, he seems like he's a, he's kind of afraid to say the wrong thing. So he's trying to watch what he says because that's why, you know, there's loads of gaps here where he doesn't speak at all, which is very rare for Brendan. He's always loves interrupting, but he's very conscious that he doesn't want to get cancelled for anything. Even though he has some dicey opinions, I think, in private about the blacks. Has been happening to black people forever. So I get it. I get it. It, it has. It really has. It's been happening in, in the 80s, 90s, 70s, 60s, Look at Brendan. 50s. Look at Brendan. And that and much worse. So. Sure. Um, statistically, <laughs> though. <He's> sure. <laughs> Brendan's like, just stop resisting and you won't get in trouble. Stop resisting and they won't punch you in the face. Just comply. Just cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> statistically, no, statistically, of course not. But I'm saying, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just talking about. Num I'm just talking about numbers. That's not great. No. I don't have any con. Oh, I didn't spot that. Big up Izanella. Sets. He said statistically, not statistically. He said statistically, not statistically. Statistically. Sure. Um, statistically, though. Statistically. <laughs> It's been happening in, in the 80s, 90s, 70s, 60s, 50s, believe me. And that and much worse. So. Sure. Uh, exactly, Abe, exactly, exactly, Abe Martinez. Exactly, Abe Martinez. It doesn't matter what the man did. The cop is supposed to be better than us. Can't be giving into this racist inclinations exactly. <laughs> like, what are you doing? like that's not how you get also that's not, that's a poor way to get someone to comply to your instructions while they're being like halfway through being cuffed they're not showing like they're, re they're resisting arrest you just punch them inside of the face isn't that going to make them more agitated if you're trying to get them to comply to your you know to your demands or your commands or whatever the last thing you should do is punch them in the face i think you know i don't think that goes a long way to get people to do what you want but i could be wrong um statistically though 
statistically. No, no, statistically, of course not. But I'm saying. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just talking about. Num- I'm just talking about numbers. That's not great. No. I don't have any context there. I don't know. Co- to- co- cops jobs are tough. Yeah. I should have punched him in the face, but I have no clue what's going on. To- cops jobs are tough. What does the cops tough job have to do with that particular video? Yes, it's tough. We know all jobs are tough. All jobs have their challenges. But that particular video that you saw, what does <laughs> the job being tough have to do with that video? Please tell us, sir. There. That's a giant man, though. That he guy just massive. Kind of took and it. The like, small man. white guy like punched him. He's like, come on, dude. Please he was stop. Like, hey, hit He's me like, come on, man. Stop. Is there a breeze? But, um, yes, yeah, typically white guys are killed more by cops. That's definitely a statistic he read off social media. Statistically, white guys are killed more by cops. Could that be possibly because black people are a minority? <laughs> Could that be possibly due to the fact that there's more white people? <laughs> I love Brendan. He's just rabbiting shit. He's just hearing online and not even thinking about it for two seconds. Uh, statistically, more white people like, duh, don't you guys make up the majority? <laughs> Teach its own. We can run on that narrative if you want. Hold on, what do you say? Teach his own. Do you say teach his own? It's not saying to each his own. Come on, dude. Please he was stop. Like, hey, He's like, come on, man. Stop. Is there a breeze? Mm. But um yes, yeah, typically white guys are killed more by cops, but teach its own. We can run on <laughs> This is up there. This is up there with beg the differ. Teach his own. Teach his own is up there with beg the differ. I swear to God, we found a classic. We found another classic. Not even beg to differ. Teach his own. <laughs> teach his own. <laughs> One more time. Guy like punched him. He's like, "Come on, dude, please he was stop." Like, hey, He's like, "Come on, man. Stop. Is there a breeze?" But um, yes, yeah, typically white guys are killed more by cops. But teach its own. We can run on that narrative if you want. We can do that. He's gonna get in trouble for that, and should. You can't you can't punch a guy in the face so let me ask you this so should should he lose his job is anyone saying he should lose his job or are we saying that we should uphold better standards for the police and maybe find out why he's doing that and maybe try and put an end to it maybe training whatever acknowledging that he did something wrong is anybody talking about him losing his job this is some thin blue line rhetoric isn't it this is a strange way like you're defending this just punching a guy in the side of the face for no reason <laughs> should he lose his job i think more Probably. details have to come out because i don't i don't know <sighs> damn dude Probably, i don't know man you'd have to see lose his job you have to look at what's going on and then but maybe if you do in more you know what's really funny though in other walks of life if you just punch somebody like that you could lose your job so maybe he should lose his job maybe if you're not able to keep your emotions and your feelings in check in high stress situations as a police officer maybe you shouldn't be on the streets because if you have a gun in your hand it might be fucking fatal you know so maybe there's a higher standard you know of you know professionalism and you know, whatever else that needs to be uphold by police officers because of the amount of people you're dealing with on a daily basis. Maybe, maybe. With the Secret Service that didn't protect Trump, all of them lose their job? What do you want to do there? <sighs> Brendan, boy, I, lo- I love this. I love this, Brendan. I'm not going to lie. I'm enjoying this new Republican, uh, this kind of like shy Republican, actually, you know, He does like to talk about some of their talking points, but he's not really out there and doing it loud and proud. I do kind of enjoy this, Brendan. I'm not going to lie, because he's so dumb. Like, he's dumber than most Republicans. He's dumber than most Republicans he listens to online. The ones that he likes their sound bites of, like the Republicans are like rah, rah, rah. He likes those type of people, but he's too dumb to actually have his own point of view. You know, because he could be... He could do pretty well if he let into the right wing grift, but he's too dumb to articulate what he actually thinks. So he just rabbits what dumb people say. And then because he's dumb and you can't remember what he's saying, he then filters it through his own voice and it sounds even more re- re- dumb than the person that said it originally. That's his main issue. 
I don't, know yet. I don't know yet. Right? I don't know yet. Negligence. I mean, I don't know yeah. yet. But I think that in that case, you you're just not allowed to do that, right? Depends. What if they told you that guy has a severe history of hitting cops and beating women? So he has a severe history of hitting cops and beating women. You arrest him. You pull him over, right? You turn the lights on. You give him the lights, right? He pulls over. He complies. You take him. You run. You run checks. Whatever needs to be done. Make confirm it's him. You then tell him to leave, exit the vehicle. You arrest him or you handcuff him. He's complying clearly. He's not posing a threat or being aggressive or violent. And then you just punch him because he happens to be a fucking. He has. He happens to be accused of what assaulting a police officer, maybe hitting a woman. That's not how it works, brother. You can't just like decide who deserves to get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like what yes but exactly. you're not allowed yeah. to, you're not allowed to do when when a guy's hands are behind his back and you're cuffing him uh -huh. you, you're you're simply not allowed to punch somebody in the face you're not allowed to why is, it's, he, arguing? It's actually, why is he arguing against this this is such a strange point to argue why is he arguing about this <laughs> this is so weird <laughs> this isn't even like one of those complex police brutality issues it's like guys handcuffed clearly complying just gets punched in the face randomly that's not cool that's it you just move on it's not that deep <laughs> most police officers at the la yeah they probably went like that they'd either. be like get that hey you fucking get that that they're very professional the lapd is an incredibly professional organization oh yeah you're talking Always about you're talking about the minority yeah. cop so what i'm saying is that most of the lapd what's, what's that thing they say every time a police brutality thing happens um uh what's that thing called bad apples or something what's that thing there's that saying that all american people like to do whenever there's an instance of fucking really depraved police brutality what's the common line that i have to talk about what is it is it bad apples or something it's a line they always say it's something something like that that always springs to mind whenever these things happen it's like saying all white right people now, are yeah. serial killers because no. jeffrey dom they're they're mostly lapd has always been known what <laughs> is that a thing do people think all serial killers are all white people are serial killers. Is that a thing? <laughs> what? Uh, big up uh, Assad. Yeah, one bad apple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's the one. One bad apple. Yeah, they love trotting out the one bad apple. Yeah, you're talking Always about you're talking about the minority yeah. cop. They, so what I'm saying is that most of the LAPD. It's like saying all white right people now, are yeah. serial killers because no. Jeffrey Dahmer. They're, they're, they're most of the LAPD has always been known actually as being a button down amazing. Or by the way, by the way, keep in mind, people. This is a comedy podcast with one former comedian and one current stand-up comedian. This is meant to be a comedy podcast. And they're having these really deep, serious conversations about things that they know nothing about and can't really offer any kind of insightful opinion on. Comedy podcast, by the way. Comedy podcast. Organization and the, and the cops themselves. Have hey, yo, yo, yo. Big up Austin Casey. Cops do that a lot. They scream stop resisting while they are cuffing you and then they often punch you in the side to get you to comply. 100%, 100%. They do that here too. They do that here too. Stop resisting, but here they usually like force your head into the ground. Or if, they, if you're on the floor, they'll knee you. They'll knee you. They'll elbow you. It's happened to me a couple of times. Or they'll just like do that whole thing of like grabbing you by your collar and pushing their fist in your neck and shit. Loads of little passive aggressive shit that you only get when you're you know, dealing with blacks, unfortunately, especially if you're a big black dude like I am sometimes, you run into issues where everyone's fighting, especially it's happened to be plenty of times where everyone's fighting, everyone's scrapping, everyone's doing the argy-bargy, the police come, and then they all swarm around, people that look by myself, it's like, we're all doing it, we're all being a nuisance, we're all causing issues, we're all being antisocial, right, um, we're all being a menace, but then the person that they go to to kind of contain them and whatever arrest them or whatever they always go for the blacks and the browns or especially if you're a bigger dude like it's like bro like everyone's doing this like why didn't you just arrest like it's fucking it's it, it's hilarious it's hilarious i've always been known to be in really good shape they're not fat they're in fucking really good shape in fact there was a time when they were like they look like a paramilitary squad and the chief of police said i'm not going to apologize for my no, that for my fucking officers being in what big up chris mack what do you say rampart scandal what's the rampart scandal? rampart scandal was a police corruption scandal which unfolded in los angeles in california united states what happened during the rampart scandal 
more than 70 police officers were initially implicated on various forms of misconduct including unprovoked shootings beatings and planting of false evidence stealing and dealing narcotics bank robbery and perjury and cover-ups thereof wow is rampart based on a true story yeah the, the true story of a very bad cop um brought down by the lapd yo lapd is kind of corrupt in it there's always things going on in the lapd in it while going with the lapd why is there such a prevalence of like dodgy cops corrupt cops bent cops in the lapd why one why is it specifically lapd <laughs> seem to have so many um what happened to rafael perez perez was sentenced to an additional three years probation 300 years 300 hours community service after his release prison he settled with his new family in inglewood god damn god damn god damn god damn god fucking damn let's continue big up big up chris mike in great shape that's most cops in yeah America. they do a good they do an amazing job they're incredibly professional that example that doesn't that i don't think most cops are like dude what are you doing now maybe at a moment right maybe something happened maybe he's having the worst day of his life but when you say lose his job what if i told you that was a 30-year cop in the most decorated one why did that, why would that matter why would it matter it would actually be worse wouldn't it if he was a 30-year cop a 30-year veteran and he just was punching people in the side of the face if they didn't immediately comply to his smallest instruction, even though he had them restrained. That would actually look bad on that 30 year veteran because it's like, bro, like you've been in the shop for 30 plus years and this is what you're doing. Should he lose his job? No. I mean, no. Personally, I'm the wrong there's guy. There's no to ask, contact. But you, you don't have enough information. That's why I think there's no contact. Yeah, we have also, uh, can we bring up, I could bring up, I have literally a thousand incidences of cops getting punched in the face, cops. I don't I don't know about you, but I've not seen too many videos of cops getting punched in the face. I'm not going to lie. Because if you punch a cop in the face, it's, you know, you have to understand that you could lose your life. <laughs> you know, why would you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't see many videos <laughs> of the assailant punching cops in the face. It does happen from time to time, but it's not usual. It's not usual. It's getting shot. Of course, but nobody's saying. So that's what this is. Like, Nobody's saying that. Like I'm, I'm very pro blue, right? And and I support law enforcement, 100. percent But if you see a guy who's got his hands behind his back, he's going, "What did I do?" And he gets punched for saying that. Can't have it. I can't have it. You no. can't have it. He's got to pay the price. Now I don't know what that price is. Suspended without pay. Sure, you could do that. But yeah. to lose his livelihood, let's. Have, if he he's on the force will. for 20 years, you know, cops are hard to find. A lot of jobs. I don't. Maybe because Brenda comes. Does Brenda come from a police family? Maybe that's why he's so defensive and shit. Maybe he's not just doing the whole like you know rabbiting up other people's opinion. Maybe he has some vested interest in it because he's family. He's from a family of cops or something. That might be the case. Who knows? Jobs are that way. A lot of jobs in the military and stuff. You're gone if you fuck up like that. You're gone. So there are a lot of jobs, and especially if you're holding people to a high standard, like also, what officers. was he thinking? He yeah. knows he's been filmed. I don't. I, I need a lot of police officers there. are held yeah, to a very high standard. Just like you, you brought up before. Um, remember, I, I brought up on Shop Show some uh, some guy that got sucker punched by uh, like a security guard or a police officer. Yeah. But when I looked into it, what did I tell you, Jen? Yeah, he was he f kicked open uh, or he destroyed a glass door. Mm -hmm. He was going crazy. So in in moments like that, it's like you kind of. You got to do what you got to do to like get them, you know. Most people who criticize Chin struggling to fucking articulate himself as well, man. Jesus, I would love to know. I would love to see Chin and Brendan both take AC, in, in, an ACT test together and see what scores they each individually get. Because I have a feeling Chin might be more dumb than Brendan. I have a feeling Chin might be legitimately dumber than Brendan. Like he's just like outside of what he does as a job. He just struggles. He like just to kind of like figure shit out. So I think you know I I would love to see that. I would actually love to see a head to head ACT face off between those two guys, Chin and Brendan. Whoever wins gets to keep saying as, you know. <laughs> I would fucking love to see that. Talking about what Austin Gaines said about paying good money to see certain things, I would pay good fucking money to see. Chin and Brendan go head to head in the ACT 
this and see who gets the higher score. Right? Whoever gets the highest score gets to keep saying us. Whoever gets the lowest score has to live with Brian Cannon or something.